Alicia from For Love Books and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another tag. What? Yeah, I know. It's not the end of October, so I haven't gotten all my books for the big haul I was talking about on my Instagram, which the link will be in the description. So I can't do that yet and I can't do an October wrap up because, well, it's not the end of October. So that will be next week. So today I'm going to be doing another tag. I'm going to be doing a mixture of Erin from In Bed With Books, uh, Autumn Booktube tag, which is her original tag, which the questions are actually pretty cool, so I thought I'd do that one. And I'm going to do a couple of the Finally, uh, finally Fall, right? Yes, Finally Fall book tag that uh, Reese JC did on her account, but she is not the original tag maker um but i will link her video down below as well i saw Lindsay from bfcg do this and i thought it was really fun that she mixed the two because i probably wouldn't have done um the full one from Reese jc but i do love a couple of the questions so without further ado let's just jump right in all right so question one from the autumn booktube tag is, is there a genre that you find yourself drawn to in the fall season? I would probably say historical fiction, um, even though I read that all the time. There's just something about it in the fall that you can't, you can't mess up. I don't know. Maybe it's just because the covers are normally kind of rustic looking and there's just, yeah, probably historical fiction. Question two, which three books are you most looking forward to reading this season? I can't even tell you how hard this question was for me because I have so many that I want to read and not even any that are specifically on my TBR but that just I want to read. So these are the three that I picked. First is Karen Wittemeyer's No Other Will Do. I love it. It's from her... Harp, the Ladies of Harper Station. Ha! Finally got the real answer. Um, it's book one of her Ladies of Harper Station. So I need to read it. And it's kind of fallish. Alright. Book two is Behind the Scenes from Jen Toronto. And I don't know why I haven't read it yet. I love everything and anything Jen Toronto and Karen Wittemeyer like anything and everything. First in the Apart from the Crowd series. In book two, her birthday, her release day is actually in November and I can't wait. And I, if I can finish this book in time, I have a special um, video plan for her release birthday for Out of the Ordinary, which will be book two. And she actually released the uh, cover photo for book three. So cute. I absolutely adore her cover art, but something about this um, series of books was just too cute. So yes, I want to read this one this season. Book three is Murder on the Moor by Juliana Deering. Um, this is from the Drew Farthing, Farthering Mystery series. And I have not read the other ones. I did, however, order them. So I really want to try the first one, which I believe is Rules of Murder, which hopefully should be coming within the next couple days. But this is the newest release. It came out this year. You'll see this book in my end of October haul because I did get it last weekend. But I just couldn't pass up this question without saying something about a historical murder. It just looks fun. It's very cluish, you know? I totally love it. I can't wait to read this. Question three. What is your favorite tea or hot drink to drink for fall reading seasons? I'm actually not a hot coffee or hot tea person. I am a very cold drink person so I will drink freezing cold sweet tea love sweet tea um cold coffee like I don't care if it's negative three degrees outside I am still drinking 
cold coffee, cold teas. But if I had to pick, uh, probably iced uh, macchiato. Number four, which classic book, book would you most like to read this fall? That is easy. Anything by Jane Austen. Okay, I have never read anything by Jane Austen. What? I hear the gasps behind the screens. I know it's crazy, but I do want to rectify that. I do want to read some of her books. I just haven't had the chance. Number five, what is your favorite fall scent? I am actually more of a Christmas scent person. Like, I skip straight from spring scents to winter scents. But I do enjoy uh, Bath and Body Works. It's like a caramel pumpkin spice thing. I don't know. I like that one. I think that's about it. I'm not a big artificial pumpkin person. Like some scents smell really, really good. Pumpkin spice. Um, anything mixed with caramel. I don't know. I do enjoy a couple scents, but I'm more of a Christmas scent. I have hot cocoa and cream currently burning from last Christmas. I went crazy cuckoo ridiculous over the scent and just like stocked up on it. So I'm currently burning that, so it just reminds me of Christmas. And I don't have any fall scents at the moment. Okay, trip to Bath and Body Works is happening soon because I feel like I'm going to need a fall scent to burn in November. Like, November, I stop and do complete fall stuff just because of Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving. Number six is, what is your favorite old movie from the 60s or before? I had a really tough time with this because I haven't watched a whole lot of old movies. I know. So can I say one that I would really enjoy watching? Sure, we'll go with that because I can't think of any. I would love to watch anything with Audrey Hepburn in it, honestly. I have not seen any. Yes, I know. Again, gasps behind the screen. But I would love to watch something with her. And I've heard she's amazing. I know tons of people who are absolutely in love with her. I'm going to Audrey Hepburn in it. All right, number seven. What show are you currently watching online? Um, let's see. I am currently watching. Honestly, I don't really watch a whole lot. Like, I don't stay up to date on anything. I just kind of pick and choose what I want to watch and when I want to watch. But I will stay up to date on book series. I will stay up to date on that. But I'm not a big... I don't really care. I don't have a TV in our house, so I don't do it that way either. Like, I don't have a way to stay up to date on them. Number eight, what are you currently reading? Haha, -ha, now this is a question I can answer. I am currently reading Discovered by Lisa M. Clark. Um... It is part of the Messenger series. I don't even, honestly, I cannot describe what this book would be considered. It's almost like a young adult Frank Peretti. That's what I'm kind of getting the feeling of so far. I'm only on chapter six, so I can't, like, go into full detail. But I think we're about to get into some juicy parts where the story actually begins. So once that happens, I think I'll be able to explain it a little better. But it follows a 15-year-old boy named Simon Clay, and the government is pretty much telling them what they can do. The buildings are gray. It's not always like that. That's the thing. Like, it just started where the government really hates people and is telling them what to do. So this is number one. This is Discovered. And then I also have book two, which is Concealed. Number nine... What are you currently using as a bookmark? I am actually using this bookmark. It has a tassel. And it has the letter of, the first letter of my first name. And it's blue. And it's probably one of my favorite bookmarks I have that isn't identical to a book. I have quite a few of those, thanks to some of my favorite authors. But I noticed last night when I grabbed it, like this was just the first bookmark that I grabbed from my um, drawer, I'm losing my mind, um, that it matched, <laughs> it matched the book, the blue tones, and then I also have a red one that I'll probably use for the second book because the second book has red tones to it. 
So I've come to realize that I'm a matchy matchy person. I like my bookmarks to match my book. Doesn't always happen that way, but I do enjoy it. Number 10. Do you prefer writing with a pen or a pencil? I enjoy both, actually. My handwriting stays a little more uniform and thick and bubbly and nice when I write in pencil. Um, because I feel like pen is just so easy that my hand just starts going and my mind starts going so my handwriting gets a little... But I do enjoy writing with both. It depends on the pen and it depends on the pencil. Number 11. What is your favorite thing to pumpkin spice? Again, gasps behind the screen. I'm not a big pumpkin spice person. I'm not a pie person. I have had my aunt's pumpkin pie and I do enjoy that. It's actually pretty good. But I haven't I have to be like in the mood for pumpkin pie. Um I don't like pumpkin spice lattes. I don't like pumpkin spice coffee. It's gross. But probably maybe bread, like pumpkin bread, sure, or like pumpkin rolls, we do pumpkin rolls. I don't like the cream cheese frosting, but I do enjoy the cake portion of it. So maybe that. I do like that every once in a while. Again, have to be in the mood. But we'll say like a cake or... Donuts, I can't, some donuts are pretty good, pumpkin, or bread. Cakey carbs, all the carbs, I want all the carbs, pumpkin spiced. Number 12, what is your favorite fall fashion trend? Sweaters, all the sweaters, all the sweaters. I love sweaters, I love the colors, um, the tans and the neutrals and boots, love boots. I love fall fashion trends. I love mustards and maroons, burgundies. It does. I love fall colors. But I'm a big sweater person. I love fall, the air, everything. It's fabulous. Number 13, share one personal goal for this season and how you plan to achieve it. <clears throat> I think my personal goal would be to read more of the classics and read more books that I read as a kid and books that I didn't even read, like the Nancy Drew. I found them, finally, all my books. I have 37 of them, I believe, out of the 52 that they published, and I want to get the rest of them because I really would enjoy reading all of them. I feel like I could blow through them, and maybe I'll do something like Lindsay from VFCG. Hey, girl, thanks. Every, every, I want to say once a week, she does a Mandy book review on her blog. And I was thinking maybe I could do it with Nancy Drew. That seems kind of fun. And it would go for a year if I did it. Huh. Maybe we'll do that if I can get all 52. I think that would be fun. Um, and I also would love, 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 love to read the Little House on the Prairie series. I didn't, I never finished it. I have the full series. I got it for my birthday years ago, and I never read it, but I would love to read that. How I plan to achieve it, I have Nancy Drew, I have Little House on the Prairie, I have a couple of the old classics, um, and I would love to get more. So if I have them at my disposal, if I have them at my right at my fingertips, I feel like I'd be, um, I'd grab them more often. That's my plan. Hopefully. We'll see. Okay. So that was the autumn booktube tag. Thank you, Erin from In Bed With Books for making the tag. It was fun. Technically, I wasn't tagged, but I tagged myself. So there. Now for the couple questions from finally fall book tag from Rissy JC. Again, she is not the original maker, but again, I'm going to tag myself, and I'm going to do a couple of these questions. So, huh. I'm going to skip down to question four, and it is, in order to keep warm, it's good to spend some time with the people we love. Name a fictional family, household, friend, or group that you'd like to be a part of. 
This was probably the easiest question for me to answer. I literally just finished the series. You guys want to take a guess? You want to take a guess as to who it's written by? Yeah, you'd be right. Jen Toronto. <laughs> the Lady of Distinctions... Distinction? Series? Oh, it was so bittersweet to Sweden. Sweden. I would love to be best friends with Eliza, Arabella, Felicia, and Agatha. Please, Jesus, send me four friends like this because I need them in my life. They were so funny. They loved each other. They were there for each other. And because of each one, they all got married to people that they all knew. It was great. And I love that they were always getting in trouble. Me. Like, they were always putting themselves and getting themselves in these predicaments that were just humorous. So funny. But I absolutely adored them. And there is a young character. Her name is Piper. You see her in the first book. She is actually Hamilton's daughter. And in the end becomes Eliza's daughter. Her name is Piper. Lord have mercy. This child is... She's hilarious. I love her so much. I want to be Piper's best friend. Like, can she be mine? Like, my little pocket pet? Because she's funny. She's so adorable. She's wise beyond her year. Like, she was written to perfection. I love her so much. I died in this book. A match of which she was, she's eight in this book, I believe. She was five when the series started, so she's eight at the end of the series, I believe. But she helped Zane through it all. Hilarious. Um, a talent for trouble. She was big in this one uh, because Grayson, the guy in here, is actually Eliza's brother, so she he is her uncle. Helped him with everything. It was just... Jen somehow some way if word gets to you i need a short story of piper like can we get piper and agatha sisters lily and grace can we get a short series like e novellas of just the three of them their love stories because i would pay big money for that wait we could have another four we need ben's story too ben is her little brother even though they all had kids again i just need piper's story I need Piper's story. Yeah. Guess who's emailing the author to talk about this? But yes, I want to be a part of this household so bad. I think I think I would probably die from laughter. Because I almost did just reading about it. But question seven is the nights are getting darker. Shared dark creepy story I am not a horror person I don't like horrible books I don't like horror movies I don't like horror stories I just not my thing so I actually kind of had a hard time with this one but I chose it because I remembered that I read a book called House by Frank Freddy and Ted Decker and I read it at night made Terrible decision to read it at night and was scarred for life. I have not read it since. Not because it wasn't good. Don't get me wrong. It was a very good book. But I just haven't had the time. I haven't picked it up. It is something that I do want to read again. They actually made it into a movie as well as one of his other books. So I kind of want to see how it is. I want to read the book and then watch the movie and see what it's like. But we'll see. So House is definitely a dark, creepy read that I could think of. Number eight, the days are getting colder. Name a short, heartwarming read that can warm up somebody's cold and rainy day. I'm gonna totally skip over the short part because the book I'm gonna choose is 360 pages, which is short for me. I blew through it, especially cause I love it. It's fabulous. Get ready for a rant and a half. Like, it's fabulous. Okay, ready? You ready? The short Shower by Karen Wittemeyer. I don't care who you is. 
I don't care where you're from, please read this book. It's great. <laughs> it's fabulous. It is literally based off of, I'll give you a little blurb, but I will try not to spoil anything because I really need you guys to read it. It is following Travis Archer and Meredith Hayes. And Travis saved Meredith when they were younger and she's always kind of felt indebted to him. Uh, in love with him, let's put it that way, honestly. And she hears this dastardly plan, this awful plan, that someone's going to burn down the Archer land. They're gonna ruin the land. So she goes and warns them, and in the end, it gets stuck there, so she has to marry one of the brothers, because it is, during that time, one woman, four guys. So one of them is forced to marry her, and do we, we all know who it is, is Travis. <laughs> Literally anybody who has read this book, Travis has stayed in their hearts. Travis, there's something bad and there's something about Meredith. It's just an amazing book. I've read it four or five times. I love it. It's one of my favorite books. I pick up my babies. It's so good. You have to pick it up. It's so good. I love it. It will get it will get you out of reading slumps. I don't care. It'll make you laugh. It'll make you cry. It'll make you giggle. I don't even care. It'll make you mad at characters. I don't. It's it's good. Pick it up. Read it, please. It will introduce you to a whole new world. If you haven't read anything else by Karen Woodmeyer, it'll introduce you to a whole new fabulous world that is great. So pick it up read it, enjoy it, and let me know if you read it because I highly recommend it. I love it. All right. Number nine, fall returns every year. Name an old favorite you'd like to return to soon. And that is Accidental Fiance, Fiance by Mary Moore. It's great. Like, it is my favorite thing in the world. I love it so much. This is a book, this one as well as a book here. I think it's called The Mistaken Earl, I believe. I'll These two books are a couple of the books that always have a way of getting me out of reading slums. Like, it doesn't matter. I pick up these two books and then I inhale anything and everything in my path. I love this book so much. I think it's because I related so much to the main character, Lady Grace, and I loved it. I fell in head over heels in love with Lord Weston. He's fabulous. And it's definitely a book that I recommend. I love it. I'll give you a little burp on this. Lady Grace and Dicot, it's fun. Her as well as Brandon Roth, who is Lord Weston. And he, or she overhears another plan to trap this is a little different because this is in England. So she hears a plan for a lady who is trying to trap Lord Weston into a marriage. And because that was a big thing back then, a lot of people did it with eligible bachelors. She hears it and Grace decides that she can't let that happen. So she ends up getting caught with him and it was an innocent encounter, but in the end they are forced to be engaged. It's great, it made me laugh. I loved it. Um, there were some, you know, heartfelt moments in the book. There's bad, bad, evil people. And the love that they feel for each other, the chemistry just bouncing off the page, mind-boggling. It's amazing. Uh, Mary did an amazing job. I love this book. I read it all the time, and I definitely, definitely recommend it. Number 10. Fall is the perfect time for cozy reading nights. Share your favorite cozy reading accessories. Socks. 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 Blankets. Lots of fuzzy, fuzzy blankets. Hoodies. Warm, fuzzy things. I normally will have a drink next to me. Probably water or something in a cup with a lid and a straw because we are not damaging any of my babies, right? I like to be comfy when I read. That is a big thing. So that was my 
finally fall, the couple questions from the finally fall tag, and the autumn book tube tag from Erin and Reese and Reese. Really sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Anyways, links will be down in the description. And I finally figured out a schedule for this thing. Fridays. Friday will be the day of the week. Videos will go up on Fridays and blogs will also go up on Fridays. Now, blogs, they will, they might not always be book reviews. I'll try as much as I can to get a book review out. But if I don't have a, a book to review or I didn't, want to review one of the books that I already own, then we'll have something else up. But I am, again, hoping to do the Nancy Drew thing, and that might uh, be a different day of the week. We'll see how that all goes. I'm excited about it. Uh, Bookstagram, that will be every couple days, probably. I don't really have a schedule for that one. It's just when I take pictures, when I find a book and I'm inspired because I need to get my creative juices flowing and I like to be inspired before I try to force anything. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tag and I will see you guys next Friday, hopefully with a haul or the on October wrap up. Go ahead and like, comment and subscribe and go check out my blog which is for the love of Christian fiction .com. and check out my bookstagram which is for the love of Christian fiction on Instagram. And I think that's it. Alright, I'll see you guys next week. Bye!